This year, I decided to start things differently. I packed up my trading gears, took a 15 hour flight so I can at least lose money while working on my tan. So welcome to my 2024 travel trading setup. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I'll link everything that's in this bag and also all the best tools for day trading. So don't forget to check that out. So let's start off with the bag. This is the most important part of this setup because if you're carrying expensive stuff around, you wanna at least make sure it's protected. And I bought this bag last year and I bought it because it's super light, it is solid, and the best part about it is the compartment inside. You can really open up everything and have every adapter or every connector in separate section. And as you can see, looks pretty good. The next most important thing is of course the computer. So I'm currently back on the MacBook Pro and I went on a PC, but unfortunately or fortunately, it broke and it got refunded four months later. So I'm back on this one and to be honest, it works pretty well if I'm just traveling like one month at a time. And on this, what's really important is I'm currently using Windows instead of the Mac. This is the most important of all. You don't wanna be running parallel because it just runs so bad. Make sure you have Bootcamp installed and run Windows instead and you're gonna be able to have your Mac as a PC and it does a job for me. The next thing we have is two screen. When I went on the PC, I only had one screen and it was this one. This one is an LG and it's a 2K resolution, 16 inch, works super well. But because I had a bigger PC, just this screen and the PC was enough. But now because this one is a smaller computer, I do need back the two screen, so I'm using also the InnoView, and this one is a 1080p 16 inch, and the job gets done. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, trying to get to 15K this year, counting on you. So the next thing we have is a mouse with a cable. This is a non-negotiable. If ever you travel and trade and you use a wireless mouse, you're out of your mind. It could cost you just so much for you know a little mistake, just your Bluetooth connection doesn't work well or something like this. You wanna be able to at least click out of your position if something happens. So I'm using this Razer mouse. It's so light, it weighs like a few grams. And there's also these extra buttons right over here that you can create some hotkeys. So this helps when you have like a big keyboard with you because I did try to travel with a keyboard and I ended up putting it in the garbage in Colombia last time. The rest of these things are just gonna be connection. So I'll show you how everything is mounted and what it really looks like and the pros and cons of this setup. So first, we need to address the cable management. I know it's pretty bad, but you do need to have all these connectors if you're gonna be trading with all of these tools. So this is definitely the downside of having a remote trading setup with that many screens. A lot of people just use a laptop, but I really like to have a lot of real estate. So this screen over here, what I have is really all my news feed. And so if ever there's a news that comes out, if ever there's a news on Twitter that comes out, I'll be aware of it on this screen. So it's very easy to keep track of it because most of the day my eye is gonna be on it. Over here on the main computer, I have my execution platform. So this is going to be Das Trader. This is what I'm currently using and I have two charts on this platform with two level two. And I have my TWS scanner on this screen and also the two charts as I mentioned. The only thing that I don't have is gonna be my chat. So if ever I'm using WhatsApp or Discord because I do not have enough space on this, this is only gonna be on my home setup that's linked right here. 